right so we are going to talk about identity and access management or IAM so here we're going to talk about what is IAM what is identity and access management here I'm going to explain in details here so when we talk about IAM so we can say IAM or, or the identity and access management is a set of process policies and tools to control the user access to uh, critical information inside your organization that is IAM is all about so when we talk about definition of IAM, so as we talked that it's a set of processes, policies and tools for defining and managing the roles and access privileges of individual network entities, which includes your users and devices to a variety of cloud and on-premises applications. So when we talk about users, the users include your customers, it includes your customers, it includes the partners, employees these are the users then if we talk about the devices we have got the devices which includes your uh, computers it includes your smartphones it includes your tablets your laptops your routers servers control everything so they're part of so what happens that when we talk about uh, i am so i am is basically we are talking about your the, uh, we are going to talk about the what the tools you are going to use what the definition how how you're going to manage the roles and access privileges to the entities which includes your net user and devices so so that they can uh, access to a variety of cloud and on-premises applications we will talk about tools here the tools of IAM we have got different tools there are different top IAM tools which includes your CloudNox permission management platform CyberArk, ForgeRock, Microsoft Azure Active Directory, Okta uh, One Login Trusted Experience Platform, Ping Identity, Intelligent Identity Platform, SailPoint these are different options we are having in the IAM tool these tools can be used to uh, these tools will give the administrator with the with the help of these tools the administrator can change the user's role track the user's activity reports can be created on those activity the policies can be enforced on whatever is happening uh, or ongoing basis and so what happens that these tools will help you to make sure that administrator uh, can uh, i mean uh, it will give the it will give the uh, method or means of the administrating the user access across your whole enterprise and will make sure that all the comp uh, uh, all the compliances with the corporate policies and any government regulations are uh, properly implemented so that's the IAM tools these are different IAM tools which help you to achieve those things then we got different I, uh, IAM components when I talk about the components so what happened like uh, uh, there are four basic elements in the component if you talk about so first of all a directory a directory or it is also known as a identity repository a directory or identity repository of the personal data that the system uh, user to define individual users like active directory for example then we have got set of tools set of tools uh, by using them we can add we can modify we can delete the data which is uh, required to uh, which is related to access or life set management so then we have got a system that will regulate and enforce the user access then you, you should have a proper auditing and reporting system So these are basic four components of the IAM. 
Now, when you talk about regulating user access, so uh, usually in traditionally what happens when we regulating the user access, so it's uh, traditionally it is involving, uh, it involves the authentication method where you are verifying a user's or any particular device identity, which includes the password, the username, it could be uh, any software token, which could be hardware software token or uh, uh, smartphone software token or digital certificates. So. Uh, these kind of uh, uh, tokens started in 2005 and we know that these kind of tokens now we have got like soft, uh, smartphone software tokens uh, are available in Android smartphones and iOS also and uh, uh, there are different apps on Google, on Microsoft and uh, uh, different uh, vendors are there, I, I am vendor. So then we have got uh, different uh, biometric elements are there also where they support for the fast identity alliances. Fido. Okay. So here in uh, today we we need to have uh, with the daily threats which you are facing the security threat a uh, use strong username and password is not enough right so uh, we have got multi factor authentication now as we are aware of mfa so mfa is a part of your uh, uh, ima pro im product so identity management system it will it in uh, in uh, uh, it uh, incorporate uh, elements of biometric machine biometrics machine learning and your artificial artificial intelligence also and risk based authentication as well so these are the uh, different components in details when you talk about the IAM components. What are the different roles in security, IAM's uh, roles in the security? So IAM plays a very uh, a critical role at different different places, at different stages in organization uh, security uh, stack. But usually what happens that uh, these kind of uh, security will be uh, these uh, roles are spread out across different groups for example you might have a, a hr team you might have it infrastructure you might have operation managers you might have your legal departments and like that so i am teams will uh, it's not only uh, making all the related decision of, about IAM. It's on the different, different organization, different, different part of your uh, organization also. So IAM techniques are just the starting to make sure that you are having a secure network. So your companies, your enterprises need to define the access policies and they need to specifically outline who will have access to which data resource and which application and what will be the condition when they should have access. So these all techniques, you know, uh, the IAM is a, IAM, IAM plays a very important role in that. So many companies or many enterprises, what they have done, they have evolved their access control policy. They keep on updating their access control policy over time and time. So that's uh, what happens that multiple rules are there. So the there is possibility of overlapping the rules. So always there are chances of overlapping the rules. Overlapping of rules. So what happens that uh, sometimes even the roles definitions are outdated and sometimes it is not properly provisioned or not uh, properly provisioned. So what happened that we have to uh, clean up the identities and we have to revoke any kind of extra privileges that a user might uh, not require anymore you know so it means you are going to work on more in the security part here so at the same time then your IAM has to connect with all part of the business like you have to uh, uh, I mean IAM has to integrate with the, your analytics then your business intelligence your customers partner portal like this so if, if the integration is not properly done with them, otherwise your IAM will be uh, totally useless. So that's why uh, it's a recommendation that IAM should adopt the uh, continuous value delivery model, uh, module which uh, different different uh, cloud teams are delivering uh, using while delivering the software. So uh, that's what the IAM roles in the security here. Thank you.